go away. What's up, guys? Ah, yeah, I'm still in bed, and it's almost five. Who's jealous of me? <laughs> no. Just had one of those nights, that's all. Um, and by one of those nights, I don't mean like hangover kind of day. It was, uh, it was kind of dumb. <laughs> Overall, fun night, but it ended kind of dumb, and it dragged to this morning. <laughs> it's just kind of stupid, but uh, basically what happened was uh, me and a friend of mine, um, we went to go hang out with um, Mr. Gamercore, Mr. Ch Chris Chavez, and uh, a couple of his friends. He invited me over, uh, play with the Moto X, play with the Moto X a little bit. If you guys follow me on the Twitter or the Instagram, you would you would have saw the uh, the picture I posted about it and everything like that. We had a fun night ball. We were all nerding out, talking about you know Android stuff and <clears throat> comic book movies and all this other fun stuff, and of course drinking beer and everything. And uh, it turns out that. Um, <laughs> We go to Denny's, we walk our happy drunk asses to Denny's and uh, have some grub. And then all of a sudden, um, we come back and my friend's truck's gone. It's gone. Completely gone. <laughs> we are like, it was one of those, you didn't, is this happening? The, the truck's really not here? At first, we were thinking it's got stolen. No. It turns out that um, there's like a little association and it's private property, which they had signs posted just everywhere just everywhere it's indicating this that you know hey don't park here or we're gonna tell your shit <laughs> now there's one sign that's like posted right at the, uh, the entrance of this place other than that there's no signs that no numbers no curbs painted different colors no nothing and i've been in a lot of apartment complexes because i was a cable guy so is kyle and they other um um apartment complexes or any kind of complexes will say hey uh, don't park here. <laughs> we have a sign that says, don't park here, don't park here. And so we thought it was safe, um, but it wasn't. And <laughs> so then we had to find out what the hell happened, why it happened, because really, really they shouldn't even, you know, just tow it just like that. I mean, I guess it's just zero tolerance or whatnot, it's because <laughs> it's pretty much what happened. Ugh, look at this blowing in your face. Um, so... We contacted the security, um, the security guard people, you know, because there's one security guard guy that's just, he, we literally walked past him too as we were walking to Denny's, and he was sitting there, I think, waiting for the tow truck to show up. Really ridiculous. Um, but let's face it, he probably, that was probably the most action he's seen since he's had that job. So, uh, so, uh, so anyways, um, he, we, uh, Kyle calls, my friend Kyle, he calls um, the security guard place, and then they kept on saying, oh, we'll get back to you, we'll get back to you, we're trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out, and we were just saying, well, what the hell, you know? Um, he called the cops to fi to file a report, because technically it was like, well, it was stolen, we didn't get any, you know, warning or anything. Cop shows up, um, and the cop was actually on our side. He was like, well, this is crap. You know, there's not enough signs, there's no signs around here that indicate anything. They just tow your shit like that. That's really retarded. So, anyways, after all that, and finally the, the supervisor, I guess, got woken up and he had a, and he called back, called us back, and then he just basically said, yeah, okay, sue us, see what happens, and hung up. <laughs> nice guy. So, then we had to figure out what the hell, we knew where it was, and, um, where the towing place was, and then, uh, we were like, all right, well, we'll just do it in the morning. They're closed. So we sleep for about, I slept for probably about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, wake up, do all this, uh, get it all, you know, figured out and everything. Mr. Chavez makes us breakfast. Oh, he's so sweet. Um, then we're just cool. He drops us off. Um, and then we had a pretty much, <laughs> we, we paid for it to get out. To get the to get the truck out, and then all of a sudden the power steering fluid magically had disappeared from the truck. <laughs> yeah, couldn't even turn the truck. So when we had to like, luckily Kyle's dad showed up to give us a hand. Yeah, we go to an auto zone or whatnot, get some power steering fluid, put that sucker in there. And the guy, of course, at the tow yard, I mean, they're all, it, it seems like they all just work together, you know? It's all just a big scam. You got the tow guy who tells the security guys, hey, I'll give you... 20 bucks per car if you recommend a car that goes in there and then 
And then also, I'm sure he has a mechanic that when bad shit happens to your truck, he's going to be like, yeah, I know this guy. I know this guy. And uh, he'll get you a really good deal. And then, you know, it's just a, it's a, it's a working thing. It's like Tijuana. <laughs> so finally get all that and uh, get the power steering and finally just get it done with. And then we're driving back and we decide to pick up a hitchhiker. <laughs> yeah, we picked up a hitchhiker. It was, it was interesting. He was just sitting there right on the... A young kid, too. Like a young kid. Probably 18 or 19. Just sitting at the freeway entrance. And we decided, hey, we're having such bad luck. Why not... Let's 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 uh, reverse the cosmics here. And let's let's create some good karma for ourselves. So we decided to pick up this guy, which is, you know, can be scary. But actually, he was... You know, he was okay. He was okay. We gave him some water... Um, chatted up with him a little bit. I mean, he's just, he was trying to make his way back to Alabama. He was coming from San Francisco and making his way back to Alabama. It's crazy. It's like, wow. So, took him all the way, about 30 miles, and then let him off, gave him a couple bucks, and just, he was very grateful. It was cool. I mean, sometimes you just, those random acts of kindness, you, or, you know, you, you help somebody who's just in need. And, you know, I mean, it felt good. I mean, we did. We felt good that we, you know, at least helped him out a little bit. Um, and you just, you know, you can't take stuff for, that you have for granted, I guess you could say. But, yeah, so it's quite a night. Um, and then I came back here and just flopped. Got, I'm not going to show you that I'm naked. I am. No, I'm just kidding. I'm undesigned. But, uh, yeah, just kind of just stripped down and just plop. Well, first I plopped in the bathroom. Anyways, um, yeah, and then um, <laughs> um, I had a slam burger last night. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that so here's a quick vlog my quick shh, my quick daily vlog which is already almost seven minutes because i've been rambling so thank you for clicking in guys hit that like thumbs up button and there all that fun stuff and uh you know to help somebody out you know it is a cool thing sometimes you know you just random act of kindness whether you know how to do a hitchhiker thing that could be kind of scary but you know see somebody that needs a buck or two give them a buck or two or you have some leftover food give it to them you know do all that stuff it's always nice you know be excellent to each other. Party on, dude. Don't know why I quoted Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure right there, but I did. All right? And I'm sticking with it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.